Well, this is the next project. It's a little restoration job. Horsey's lost his ear, so I've been asked to uh, fix that. And also, even though he rocks pretty well, he's got a broken rocker down here. And I don't know how long this has been broken, but it, it appears to me like it's been a very long time because it actually has nails driven in it that have rusted. So it's been around for a while. And it looks to me like this is a pretty much of a knot area here, which is really very uh, susceptible to damage at either stepping on it or something like that. So the procedure will be I'll have to get this rocker loose from the base, these three supports, and cut this off and either put a filler piece in between these two or I'll just make another front piece and uh, we'll try to match the paint job on it. But he's really a very attractive horse. He's got some great detail. He's very heavy. It's all solid wood. Uh, showing some age here by cracking on the top. I suspect it probably came from Mexico with this flower carving on here and it all being solid wood. So we'll have to get started on it. Not only was it uh, <laughs> nailed up here, it was also nailed back here. There's a big oh, uh, crack forming right here. And it looks like it was puttied pretty heavily here to fill in a flaw. So this may be uh, a little bit more of a challenge to get apart than first thought some kind of either wood filler or a build up of glue right here I'll tell you the nails that they used worked really really well they sure don't want to come out Well, after trying various methods of uh, hammering, trying to wedge chisels in there to pry this thing apart, I've kind of given up on that process and broke out the nail cutting tool. So I've got one loose. I'll show you how I do the other two. Well, that appeared to be the best way to go. You can see I cut the nails off here. And also what I was saying was that I see there's a large crack right here. Following this whole knot assembly, it must have been a pretty interesting piece of wood, but not for this uh, particular item. There's even some glue that's been uh, patched in here. You can see that it was filled on here. So I think what we're in for is a whole new rocker assembly and uh, that'll put us back in, back in, back in, back in rocking horse quickly. I have a piece of dug fur, it's a two by eight and uh, what I'm going to do is just cut the whole new assembly out of this one piece of wood. And the first thing I need to do is uh, just cut this off, I've got to reduce the thickness of this almost a quarter of an inch to get it back to the same thickness of this. Uh, so I'm just going to cut this off and run it through the planer and get get it down to size.
I can tell that this piece of wood is very very wet. I've reduced the thickness of it and it's pretty flat the side to side but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry out a little bit because I'm afraid with the amount of moisture in there it's going to twist or do something strange to me. So I give it a day or two to acclimate to the shop here maybe it'll lose some of this moisture. And uh, just to make sure I've, I've put the moisture meter on this and it's reading on the high scale it's reading 22 percent moisture so it's really pretty soaked. I think when they come from Oregon they uh, the last thing they do is they wet down the truckload and then they ship it. Okay after sitting for a couple days the moisture content on this has gone down to 13 percent. It's still a little bit moist I can feel the sense of it but it's uh, going to be okay to work and once I cut the rest of it off it, it should dry out uh, pretty rapidly from there. So I'm just going to outline this shape on to cut out on the bandsaw. Okay, I've got it pretty much roughed out. I've stayed shy outside the lines so that I can uh, actually form these pieces uh, to the pieces over there rather than just going by the line. i take it over to the other smaller bandsaw blade and be able to cut this a little bit closer and shape it all down. <laughs> Take down the outside curve a little bit with the hand plane and the uh, spoke shave. Get it to soften out a little bit. I've got it all sanded and uh, so now it's time to put some nails in it and nail it back together. This is really strange for me because I, I don't nail that many things together anymore. He's back to rocking. Next we'll start working on his ear and I will believe I'll, I'll stain this to give it some color and then try to get it to match better. 
it does match as best I can. Okay, now it's time for some surgery on the ear. First thing I'm going to have to do is remove this area right here and get it smoothed out so that I can actually add another piece and then carve it back in. To a totally flat gouge to try to get as flat as I can to allow me to glue something on here and have it bond correctly. I've started to pre-shape the uh, inner part of the ear here in a piece of oak. And I've cut the bottom off to try to match what I chiseled off the... Um, maybe you can see it better if I... And this base will mount on the, uh, on the head and this will be the front part of the ear. I finished shaping my replacement ear. I glued a dowel on the bottom of it and I drilled a hole in this head to kind of guide this on there and hold it in place a little bit better. I'm going to just apply some glue. To the base of this and to the hole, I want to try to get as much glue contact, surface contact that I can. So we want to ensure that it's, it's got a good bond. It seems like uh, I have a little bit too much glue in there and it's kind of causing him to uh, not let me set this deep enough. but it looks like that's as good as it's gonna be. I found this rubber band from uh, something we bought holding it together, so I'm gonna try to use it as a clamp. It's one of the hardest things to do when you're making a repair is to get things clamped properly because they're such an odd shape. This seems like it's doing pretty good. I'll just try to get some of this excess glue off of there. Kind of looks like he's wearing an earmuff, but... Hopefully it's going to be good. This have been drying for a good few days. And uh, it looked like the rubber band did a pretty good job. So this is like the operation when you... Uh, Take the mask off and see what your nose looks like. It 
So there you go. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to try to stain it a little bit, blend it, soften it down some so that it matches the other ear. And uh, I'll move the camera and show you. I, I redid the rocker. I've got the rocker a little bit closer to the color. Even though the grain is showing it's dug fur, uh, I just didn't have any oak that big to do that. So I'll show you what the rocker looks like. As you can see, the rocker looks a whole lot closer to the original parts of the horse. It's a little bit darker. Like I said, the grain is not the greatest in this dug fur, but I wanted to get this job done and get it back out. So now all I have to do is uh, touch up his ear, try to get the ear to match the face there, and he'll be ready to ride. The first thing I'm going to do is add some uh, sanding sealer to uh, the ear. This is shellac and it's going to tend to seal the pores on it so when I do start applying this, the stain it won't get soaked up so bad. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has it has darkened it. It's actually toned it down uh, considerably from how white it was before. So I'll let that dry. I'll rub it off with some Scotch Bright, and then I'll try to uh, start with the lighter colors and apply those first and see if I can get it built up. It sure doesn't look like it's too much different from the horse right now. So maybe it'll only take a couple coats. Little Scotch Bright on the ear, sand that sanding sealer a little bit. Want to get those little nibs off of there, and I'm going to start with the uh, mini wax uh, provincial. It's number 211 I don't want this to run down off of the ear Give it a few seconds to soak in. There are no foot pegs. There are no reins to hold on. So he must have to be an experienced rider to uh, ride this Bronco. But still I'm impressed with uh, the carving on it and the detail. It's really great. <laughs> 